Howdy doing y'all, this is John, and today we're talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a new movie out on Netflix right now. And in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a group of young people go to sell this ghost town to a bunch of people, and Leatherface returns and starts killing a whole slew of people. Yeah, if you thought that plot description I just said sounds bad, there's a reason. Getting into it, you don't care about anyone. While the film mainly focuses on four people, you don't care about anybody. Everyone is just there. Everyone's just there for the inevitable chainsaw massacre that is going to happen in this film. And with the original in 74, you at least had Sally Hardesty, but you don't have that in this movie. Speaking of Sally, her role in this, because they heavily advertised Sally was coming back, even though she's played by a different actor because Marilyn Burns died a few years ago. And her return is basically just a glorified cameo. She doesn't really play any important role in the film. She's just a glorified extended cameo. And this movie's missing that love and attention that the original movie had. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre was made by people who genuinely cared and wanted to scare people. Rather than focusing on blood and gore, they focused on the macabre and tension and trying to keep things on a high. Yes, there's a little bit of blood in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it didn't rely on gore the way that this movie does. Obviously, I don't have an issue with bloody gory movies. Some of my favorite movies are really graphic, but that's not what made the original movie a very tension-filled film. Whereas with this one, it's like, hey, let's cut somebody in half and half their obviously CGI'd intestines fall out. Yeah, the CGI is terrible. Like, you see it every time and it doesn't even remotely look good. Basically, this whole movie, it's like they saw the 2018 Halloween, which is a bad movie. And they said, here, let's do our own thing with Texas Chainsaw. Except they don't have what the one thing that worked in the 2018 Halloween. They don't have a compelling new take on the original protagonist in the film. In the original film. Like I said, Sally is basically a glorified extended cameo. She's not the main character. She doesn't even have an important role in the film, unlike Lori Strode in the 2018 Halloween. Guys, in the end, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's a really, really horrible Netflix reboot sequel thing. I just felt nothing watching this film, and I just cannot recommend it under any circumstances. I'm gonna give Texas Chainsaw Massacre a 1. This movie literally has a dumber ending than Texas Chainsaw 3D. And that's saying a lot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please look forward to more videos real soon. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Badetsky will return.